Introduction See this lake. Earlier this was a tourist spot. Now people avoid coming here. What is responsible for it? Yes, it is the foul-smelling polluted water of the lake. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define water pollution Describe the sources of water pollution Describe the harmful effects of pollution Discuss the measures of pollution prevention Water is an essential part of human, animal and plant life. Living things cannot live without water. It is said that life originated in water and gradually shifted to land. But the connection and importance of water still remains the same. Water is essential for every living organism to grow and flourish. Look at these activities. What is common in these activities? Yes, you are correct. All these activities highlight the uses of water. We know that 70% of the Earth's surface is covered with water and it is the most precious natural resource on our planet. Do you know from where this water comes? It comes from natural sources like lakes, rivers and oceans. However, look at what we are doing to these resources. Let us take the example of River Ganga. Millions of people depend on it for their daily needs and livelihood. Recently, Worldwide Fund for Nature WWF found that Ganga is one of the 10 most polluted rivers in the world. The polluted water of the resources may contain bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites which cause diseases like cholera, typhoid and jaundice. Let us look at the sources of water pollution. Pollution enters a water body as acid rain, eroded soil, runoff containing fertilizers and pesticides, as chemicals released from industries and other ways from cities and towns. The chemicals released from industries like arsenic, lead and fluorides lead to toxicity in plants and animals. Often the factories and power plants use normal water to cool their machinery and then release hot water. It heats up the water body and aquatic animals die in it. Have you seen ponds which look green from a distance? This is due to algae grown in it. Do you know how these algae grow in the pond? During rainfall, large amount of fertilizers get washed from the fields and fall on the ponds and rivers. These washed off fertilizers act as nutrients for algae to flourish. When these algae die, they serve as food for the decomposers like bacteria. Bacteria use up most of the oxygen in the water and as a result, the fish and other aquatic animals die due to lack of oxygen. Also, people bathe, wash clothes and defecate in the rivers and ponds. They also throw garbage, flowers and non-biodegradable polythene bags into the river. Many rivers have become dead due to a high level of pollution and aquatic life cannot survive in them. The waste materials that pollute the water are called water pollutants. Let us check your understanding on the topic covered. What are you doing? You should not drink water from here. But why? It is clean water. Water that looks clean may still have disease carrying microorganisms and dissolved impurities which can cause illness. Really? Yes, you should drink purified water to stay safe. Water which is suitable for drinking is called potable water. Water can be made safe for drinking. Can you tell why we boil water before drinking? 
because boiling kills the harmful microorganisms present in the water. Another method of purifying water is chlorination. It is a chemical method. It is done by adding chlorine tablets to the water. Students, you need to help to control water pollution. These are some simple ways. Do not dispose of polluted water directly into livers and lakes before its treatment. Reuse water that is used for washing vegetables for watering the plants in the garden. Reduce, reuse and recycle should be our mantra to control water pollution. Government also took measures to prevent the water pollution of rivers of the country. For example, Ganga Action Plan was launched in 1985. It aimed to reduce the pollution levels in the river. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Water pollution is the contamination of water by substances harmful to life. See which Agricultural chemicals and industrial wastes are some of the major contaminants of water. Water which is purified and fit for drinking is known as potable water. It is necessary to take measures to prevent water pollution in order to have safe drinking water and the water for other uses.